Once again, we'll speak with Pastor R.D. Bernard of the King Solomon Baptist Church in Vicksburg, Mississippi. And the question is, why do you preach with such fervor? Don't most people believe in God? Wow, wow, wow. Uh, you are absolutely right. Uh, this world is just like the uh, first century world. Most people are, are, would describe themselves as religious or even spiritual. Uh, but religiosity and spirituality uh, does not save. What saves is belief in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did for our sins. Christians believe in the atoning work of Jesus Christ. They have a relationship with this person, this unique one, who is called Jesus. You see, this generic notion of God, uh, anybody can believe in God. God himself has put something within the conscience of each man. Uh, but it's a difference between belief in God and believing God. God said he sent his son, mm -hmm. gave his son, so that we might have everlasting life. It is through his son that we come to know him. Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. No man come to God but by me. But see, God doesn't create the problem. It's Jesus that created the problem. You see, it's Jesus and the outworking of who God is are being the express image of God that creates the problem. He's the one who talks about hell. Uh, most of the mention of hell in the New Testament comes from the lips of our Lord himself. Uh, most of how we are called to live by the Apostle Paul was done because of salvation experience through Jesus Christ. And it's the teachings of Jesus that have been normatized in the church by Paul especially that becomes binding on Christians. You see, God has no problem with me as a homosexual. Huh? God does not. In the thinking of most people. Okay. But it's Jesus and Christianity that's got the problem with it. You see, God does call us to live holy, but when I have some generic, far-off notion of who God is, my own privatized God, my own privatized religion, it allows me to declare that I am a homosexual Christian. I am a gay Christian. I am a white supremacist Christian. I am a black supremacist Christian. And there's no such thing. I'm a fornicating Christian. I'm a sexually immoral Christian. These words are insane. They're, the ideas are totally incompatible. Uh, Christianity is found in Christ. And our knowledge of God comes through Christ, who is the Lamb of God and the Word of God. And so there is no knowing God without first submitting to Christ. Questions, 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 questions. And people have questions, but the question will never be answered to your satisfaction until you know Jesus as Lord. Debate, 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 debate. But the debate, when is we finally centered on the fact that Jesus Christ is Lord, when we submit to his Lordship, then the debate goes away and there's only submission to what he has said.